Hey everyone, thanks for joining me in today's video. The project I've got for you today is making a bench out of an old headboard. The store that I sell my farm tables at has a bunch of these headboards. They are three-quarter size uh, beds, so that's kind of a weird size, so they needed to do something with these, so they uh, approached me about doing some of these benches made out of the frames. It's a simple project, and in this video I'm going to show you how I went about it. Let's get started. Every bed's going to be different, but in the case of the one I'm working with, I had to remove some hardware first. Then it had these little knobs. I used some vice grips and twisted those to break the glue joint and just remove those. That's where your legs will sort of hang over the bench in, uh, when it's finished. I cut the turned element off the top and then the square uh, rectangular rail, um, as you can see there, and then flush cut the little rectangular tenon that went in the mortise in the upright of the footboard and I'd ended up leaving all out the little turned, um, the little round tenon above it. These are the mortises that exist already in the headboard and footboard, so I'm going to use that as the little rails to connect both of those pieces. I first remove the hardware and I'll end up saving those pieces for future projects where I build a bed. I use my planer and plane down the bed rail to fit in those mortises, cut it to length on my radial arm saw, and then ripped it to its width slightly oversized on the table saw. Since these tenons will not have shoulders and the entire rail is inserted into the mortise, I want to make sure it had an extra tight fit. So I planed them to get that uh, vertical dimension perfect for the mortises for each uh, mortise and tenon joint. Then I just went to the floor laying the headboard down, putting glue on both the mortise and the tenon side of the rail and hammering them in, um, fully seating them into the mortise. These particular mortises were about an inch and a quarter deep. So with everything kind of rough assembled, I checked it for its squareness and then drilled some uh, sort of pilot slash countersunk holes with that little bit you see on my drill and then ran some screws through those tenons just to help uh, add a little security, especially while the glue dried. And then I used a 5 16 inch dowel and plugged those little countersinks. For adding a seat to the bench, I'm going to need some sort of a little ledge to set the seat boards on top of, so I took a scrap piece of plywood. This is 3 quarter inch plywood and it was about an inch and a half strip left over from a shelf project, and I applied some glue to that, air nailed it in in place, and then went back and added some screws about every 8 inches. For uh, an actual seat, I'm using these 3 quarter inch thick 8 inch wide boards that I got from a roof that I tore down off of the front of a building. So they were perfect for this type of project once they get a paint job and some distressing. So I cut all those to length, notching the two end pieces around the posts on the headboard and footboard, and then air nailed them all in place. This is a paint job that no one can mess up because in the end you're almost kind of going for a bad paint job. You want it kind of looking rough and naturally aged. I hit all the flat surfaces with my orbital sander and then used some Kills Primer to paint the whole thing white. And I'm just going with the primed finish. Um, you don't really need to if you're just going for white to uh, top coat it if you have a good coat of primer. And the primer is good because it's going to stick over top of uh, potentially, you know, surfaces that the paint might not take as well to. To get that distressed finish, all you're going to do is take different grits of sandpaper, roughing up the corners hitting all the edges and the little areas where you put your hands, your legs hanging over. You can imagine just an old worn out piece of furniture. You're just going for that look. Once I sanded it, I hit it with a vacuum and then clear coated it with Minwax Polycrylic. That's a water-based finish and I used the satin sheen. And here's a first look at the finished product. Well, that wraps up today's project. I hope you all enjoyed the video. The uh, steps in this project were pretty simple. To do a quick recap, I planed down the bed rails to fit in the existing mortises. So basically all I did is crunch the bed down smaller and then added in those plywood strips for the actual seat boards to drop into. Gave it a quick paint job, distressed it, and then clear coated it. And the bench is done and for sale now. So I'll let you know in a future video how this goes. Uh, potentially this might be a good project for those of you out there looking to make some pieces of furniture and sell them. Cool thing is about a piece of furniture like this, 
is you sort of get to take credit for all the turnings that already exist. I'm not saying that I made it, it's going to be sold as a recycled uh, bed turned into a bench, but you're getting to take advantage of all these pre-made uh, components. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Well here's a little bonus footage for the end of the video. Here's the bench delivered to the store. Just wanted to show you what it looked like in the place that it will be sold. So it's in there for sale. I ended up putting a price tag of $495 to see kind of how that goes. There's my other tables as well in the store. So if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel and you will get updates of all my future videos. And if you are curious about the shirt that I was wearing in this video with the hand plane, I sell that on my website. I get a lot of people asking that in comments. So I just wanted to say that in the end of the video. You can click the link in the description and check out the rest of my website as well. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.